Hello guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I want to do a story uh, network guide or whatever you can call it. I want to talk about the principle of a story and what it is and how it works. Um, so excuse my painting skills here, I've decided to make it all in, um, in paint. Um, it's what I know and I'm not very good with photoshopping so this is what I decided to do. Um, so I'm going to try to explain how story works using paint and using simple illustrations. Um, what I first want to talk about is what is story, uh, basically. It's um, a service where you decide to rent out your hardware um, in exchange of the cryptocurrency called story. Um, so you rent out hard disk uh, space for people to use and you are paid in a crypto called story. Um, and why is this smart, you might ask? Well, first of all, it can be decentralized, which means that big data centers that will uh, caught on fire will not have all your data on it. It, it can be um, decentralized into normal people's homes. Um, it will be protected um, from data breakings and, and that kind of stuff because it is decentralized. And it'll give average people um, the means to set up servers in their home um, and actually get paid by it. Um, but I have had a lot of comments on my videos about people wanting to get rich quick or make a lot of money, kind of like crypto mining. And it's very important um, for me to tell you guys that th that's not what this is. And it's actually why I've made this video. It's to show you and tell you uh, why you should think about Stoi and if you want to get rich quick, why you shouldn't think about Stoi. Um, so yeah, uh, I will try to explain it now. So first of all, here in the bottom, we have six servers. Um, these six servers will be located in a home, um, like the home you live in and the home I live in. So these will all have different IPs. They will all be owned by different people and um, Let's just say they have the same size, okay? So server one, let's say that server one has been on the Stoy network for a long time, um, which means that the uptime is 100. So I'm going to draw a red line here and I'm going to say that uptime is, well, it's 100% basically. Um, let's just say that it's just for illustration purposes. And because it's been on for a long time, the vetting state, which I will talk about what it is in a moment, um, the vetting state is also 100. Percent. Um, and it is not just on <coughs> this satellite, it's actually on all the satellites. So. I'm not going to draw so many lines because it would get confusing, but just think about it like like it will go, it will be like this on all the satellites, right? So it will be 100% uptime and 100% vetting state. Now, let's not think about server performance. Let's just say that every single server is performing absolutely perfect. It can like put all the data in really fast, great internet. Let's just say that. That means that server one right here will get... Um, 100% of the possible uh, data, data, right? Let's just say that, 100%. So let's have a look at server 2. So server 2 will have on this satellite, this is just for this satellite, um, server 2 will have exactly the same stats, 100% the same stats. Bam. So 100% and 100% okay so let's say that that means this will also get 100% of the possible data but what does this mean for the network well this means that if your servers are performing equally you will actually share the available data. So as you can see, like if I just draw a line here, as you can see, these two are actually getting equal amounts of data. They are equal, equal, okay? Um, 
And the reason for this is because story, the people who made story wanted to be decentralized. So it doesn't work if server one has like, let's say server one has a million terabytes available storage. It's just, it's just not going to get much more data than server two is. And even if server two only has one terabyte and server one has 100 terabytes, server one will not get 100 times the data because that wouldn't make it decentralized, right? So they will get the equal amounts as long as they have the same uptime and uh, the same vetting state. Um, so let's take a look at server server three. Um, so server three actually does not have very great uptime. Uh, oh no, sorry, I mean um, vetting time, vetting state. Um, so let's just, for the sake of this argument, let's say 50%. Now, what happens when you're not vetted yet? So if your server is not vetted, you will actually only get, I think it's about five or 10, I think it's 5% of the data no matter what stage you are in the vetting. Until you hit 100%, you will not get the maximum amount of data possible. And that is because they want to ensure the quality of your node. So let's take a look here. So this server is new, right? It's new. So what do we need to do with this server? We need to verify that it's stable. Um, and the reason we need to verify if it's stable is because we want to protect people's data. We want to protect people and companies' data because if people lose their data, Stoy and essentially you, the host, will lose customers. So that is how like the business model works. So he's not getting a lot of data and it can take three months, three months and even more sometimes to get fully vetted on all of these satellites. Look, there's six satellites. So. I'll just show you right now how mine is looking. So this is my server right here. As you can see, I have a lot of downtime, um, which is not great, but it's because I had some server problems. I was talking about it in another in another video. Um, but as you can see, I'm actually like 97% vetted here. I need 12 more audits, audits on this ser on this server to be completely vetted. And even this one, I'm 70 78% vetted. And I need 34%. No, thir no, I have only 34 out of 100 or audit audits. Sorry. So, and this server has been up for over three months now. So I'm not even uh, vetted yet. Um, so as you can see, it takes a long, long time to get vetted, and it's important to get vetted on all of the servers because as soon as I will show you here, as soon as this server right here, server three, as soon as it gets 100% vetting it'll get more data. It'll get like 90 or 95% of the possible data. Um, obviously because the vetting people will take the rest of the 5% or something like that. Um, and even if it has 100% uptime, just 100%, it's still only gonna get about 5% of the data. Um, so yeah, let's take another example. Um, let's say you have server four, right? and the server four is pretty much new and the person running it doesn't know what he's doing. So, or he has problems with his hardware or his internet or something like that. Um, what will happen is let's say he has a downtime of 50% and he is only, let's just say 20% uh, vetted, right? What will happen then is he will get those 5% that I told you, the 5% of the data, and let's get a calculator right here. Um, so let's say one month he had a possible to get 100 uh, gigabytes, okay? So that was his possible, but because he wasn't vetted yet, he only got 5%. That means we need to divide it by 0 0.05. So he's getting five gigabytes in one month. I know this is a little and you will get more than that, but let's just take it as an example. And then because he had an uptime of only 50%, what will happen is he'll only get half of this because he wasn't online to get the full 100% being the five gigabytes. He was only online to get the 50% when, they, when that was happening. So what will happen to this five gigabytes is we will divide it by two. 
and all of a sudden this guy is only getting two and a half gigabytes right um, so it, it matters how much you're online and how well your server is performing it's actually quite important um, because you will lose out on essentially data and if you lose out on data you lose out on money um, then there's another scenario let's look at if um, for example um, I'm just taking one of these servers it doesn't really matter which one I take it's just for example wise but this server he has he's 100% uh, vetted let's just say that he's 100% vetted but he has only let's say he's doing really he's really trying but he has problems with his hard drive or his network so he has 70% um, and let's say for one month the possible data um, is for all servers in the whole like space it's would be a high number but for him uh, when you divide it all um, let's say he could get let's just say he could get um, 500 gigabytes right and he has to deduct 30% of that that means we have to do 0 uh, 7 means we'd only get 350 gigabytes so as you can imagine when he gets less data it will also take longer for him to be vetted which means if you want to become a story contributor you need to make sure that you can have a server that will be stable and run pretty much every single day and night with only a little bit of downtime because every minute of downtime in the end will basically cost you money um, and if you have really bad downtime it can even be so bad that you will actually lose um, your permission to be on the story network like you can get kicked off or I haven't seen it happen yet but I'm pretty sure it's possible um, so yeah that is downloading data but what about uploading data well the uptime and the vetting state it's actually pretty much the same um, but what you need to understand is you are only paid when you upload data so let's let's I'm, I'll give you an example so let's say that <clears throat> that this guy right here on server 6 he is on the test server um, and he's trying to be really smart so look these arrows down he's downloading a lot of a lot of data right he's downloading all of it because he's like well he's just gonna delete it again because he has only 500 gigabytes of space right so he downloads 500 gigabytes and deletes it all and downloads 500 again and he's thinking wow that will just equal dollar 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 because if he did that and it actually gave him money anyone could just delete data all the time create a script that would just delete data from your server and just keep downloading it and that would hurt the economy and hurt the network um, that is story so that means downloading equals zero money whoops sorry there we go that means downloading is zero money um, but on the other hand if you wanna if you're uploading a lot which hopefully you are because that's kind of also the point let's just I know it's a very ugly arrow I'm just trying to illustrate here this is upload so upload equals good money so what that basically means is you need to have a decent upload speed as well as a download speed because if people can't access the data that they've put on your server and they can't download it back to themselves they won't be using the servers so essentially 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 what I'm saying is you need a good balance between upload and download and you need a good balance between the uptime and you need to be ready for the vetting state um, so it can take three maybe four months to be vetted and after that that's only when you start collecting data um, so you're not even being paid very much because you can only upload whatever data you have and if you don't have a lot of data you won't get a lot of money um, so it takes time it can take years to actually make a decent profit um, and you might be thinking well so server 4 is smart right server 4 will just do um, well I'm smart so I will just equal 
two times and I'll just make two servers on one IP. But that doesn't work that way. Um, if you make two servers on one IP, you will get the same data, but it will be divided to the two servers. And that's because the store is monitoring your shop IP, which is essentially meaning that you won't benefit from putting up more than one server, um, at least until it's filled up. So the best way is to actually like put a decent mid-sized stable server, let it fill up completely. And if it takes a year or two years, that's just, that's just how it is. Let's just let it sit. And after that, you'll start a new server and that will be vetting state again. And that will be download data and you start all over and you can have that bit running while the server that's filled up is also running. Um, so that's currently what I am doing. My server uh, that you saw right here has four terabytes, as you can see here, it has four terabytes and I'm trying to fill it up completely. Um, and then I will just leave it and start a new one on the same machine. Um, and as you can see here, I had some downtime. That means I haven't been able to get all the possible data that I could, um, which is what I'm talking about. You need to keep your server online as much as you possibly can. And if you're not going to do that, then I don't think story is for you. Um, then I don't think you should join this project, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> So here you can see my earnings and here you can see what I was talking about with the with the download. Actually, um, egress is actually upload and that's what I've made in making the most most money on. Um, and then you're paid if you are repairing, which is which means you help. You basically help uh, repairing files on other servers and then you you paid for your the data you have on your drives. Um, I know it says download here, but egress is actually upload and ingress is a download. I can show you here in a minute. So you're paid the most for uploads, as you can clearly see. Um, and it's different from from uh, from satellite to satellite. As you can see here, uh, Salt Lake has been giving me a lot of money, but that's because it's actually test data. Uh, <clears throat> so as you can see here, I wrote here that it's it's test it's a test server. So that's for the developers to put out different kinds of data forms and upload them to the servers to see how they're performing. Um, but let me just show you here. <clears throat> As you can see, Salt Lake, I'm actually not vetted on Salt Lake yet. I am only 77% vetted on the Salt Lake server. Um, oh wait, no, sorry, that's Europe. I'm actually, I am vetted on Salt Lake, I'm so sorry. I'm fully vetted on Salt Lake. Um, yeah, I, di I didn't think that was gonna make sense, but yeah, I'm fully vetted on Salt Lake. Um, so that makes a lot of sense why I've made uh, the best money on Salt Lake. Um, but that means that the data on my server is actually mostly test data. Um, and then I can see that it's also coming from the US uh, and a little bit from the EU. So yeah, that's uh, kind of exciting because I'm EU uh, based. So obviously I will have a longer latency and ping to US, but I think it's kind of interesting, actually. Um, so let's look at ingress and egress. So this is the egress, which is the upload. And as you can see, it's it's 28 gigabytes for this month and it's the 14th. So we're halfway through the month and ingress is 142 gigabytes, which is way more, but it's not what you're paid for, as you can see. So yeah, that's how it is. I hope you found this video uh, informative and I hope you learned something if you have any questions I will be happy to answer them down in the comments below um, and if not then I think you should subscribe and like and uh, maybe tell me if you want to see another video kind of like this um, but yeah thank you so much for watching and have a great evening